I organized the first uh, critical race theory workshop. We were all thinking outside the traditional box about the relationship between law and racial subordination. And when we came together, we were able to articulate some of the common themes that held all of our work together. And that's what creates a movement, right? Not everyone doing the same thing, but finding, discovering, and being able to articulate the connections between all the things that we were doing. So some folks were in constitutional law, some were in family law, some were even in corporations and torts. But what we were seeing was the common thread across all of these arenas when you looked at how the law helped contribute to racial subordination, how it insulated our social order from any real effective efforts to remake it. You know, seeing the conditions in the world that are taken for granted and asking, well, why does it have to be that way? What is it that people think that make them settle for this particular way? And how can we rethink it to open up new possibilities? So insisting on that, continuing to do it, sometimes getting in trouble for it, but um, being in community with other people who are doing it with you is what led to critical race theory. It's what led to intersectionality. And that's what's led to this moment right now.